basic microbiology, a laboratory manual, testing effectiveness of disinfectants and antiseptics by modified use dilution method, introduction, antiseptic, kills microorganism on body, disinfectant, kills microorganism on non-living surface, list of disinfectants and antiseptics, disinfectant, phenolics, 5%, chlorohexidine, mercury compounds, sodium hypochlorite, formaldehyde, and ethylene oxide, antiseptics, phenolics, 1%, chlorohexidine, hydrogen peroxide, dyes, crystal violet, ethanol and propanol, silver nitrate, and iodine compounds, methods, disc diffusion method, modified use dilution method, test effectiveness of disinfectant against a particular organism, test effectiveness of a disinfectant on a surface, modified use dilution method, Purpose Assess effectiveness of disinfectants and antiseptics against selected organisms on non-living surface. Principle Effective disinfectant or antiseptic will inhibit the growth of microorganisms in broth. Prepare bacterial suspension by adding one 10 microliter loop full of bacteria into 10 ml of broth. For each group, provide four TPTK soy broth tubes first containing Escherichia coli, second containing Staphylococcus aureus, third containing Pseudomonas aeruginosa, and fourth containing Bacillus subtilis. Clean slide. Pre-clean slide to remove grease. Dip in absolute ethanol for several minutes. Dry or flame before use. Smear preparation. Prepare five smears from broth containing Escherichia coli. Air dry. Prepare in the same way for Staphylococcus aureus, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, and Bacillus subtilis. For each group, provide 4 25 ml beakers with 10 ml of tested disinfectants or antiseptics. Immerse dry smears of E. coli into disinfectant or antiseptic solutions for one minute, leaving one as a negative control. Then, tip slide on side of beaker and blot dry on a tissue paper until dry. Repeat in the same manner for the other three organisms. Prepare 25 50 ml falcon tubes. Aseptically add 20 ml of TSB. Put 25 tubes into 5 sets. Label tubes showing disinfectant or antiseptic treatment and organism tested, as shown. Immerse smears into corresponding tubes. Close tubes loosely and incubate for 24 hours at 37 degrees centigrade. Observe results. Growth, gram stain, subculture. Observe cloudy growth in broth. Gram stain from positive culture tubes. Subculture to retrieve test organism. If retrieved organism is different from test organism, report contamination. Use this form to report results.